Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Yixing Wang from Stanford University. I will introduce our work, Seeing Synthesis from Human Motion. This work is done together with Sifan Ye, Jia Man Li, Dennis Park, Karen Liu, Hua Zhe Xu, and Jia Junwu. Nowadays, large scale capture of human motion with complex scenes is immensely useful. But building high quality datasets annotated with both human motions and 3D scenes is very challenging because it depends on costly devices such as mocap systems and therefore can only be conducted in laboratory settings. Meanwhile, human motion alone contains rich information about the scene they interact with. In this work, we propose to address the mentioned challenges by exploring a new possibility. Given a sequence of human motion, we aim to learn to synthesize diverse and physically plausible scenes. Here are some closely related works. The first one is called Populated 3D Scenes by Learning Human Scene Interaction. It proposes a feature representation called POSA to model human scene interactions for human mesh vertices. It also learns to assign each body vertex a probability of having contact with the scene and a context semantic label representing the category of object. In our work, we also ad adopt POSA as an approach to model human scene interaction. There are other works that try to use human contact information to reconstruct scenes. For example, in human aware object placement for visual environment reconstruction, the authors use videos as visual inputs and use human scene interactions to help with the 3D scene reconstruction. While such a method produces physically plausible reconstructions, it requires additional visual inputs so that the reconstructed scenes are restricted. We propose SAMA, which stands for the scene synthesis from human motion. First, we pre-process a sequence of body vertices as input. Then we train our contact predictor contact former to predict temporally consistent contact labels for each body vertex. Then for each frame, we accumulate body vertices that are predicted as in contact with the scene, which we call contact points, and we cluster the contact points and sample an object from the object dataset and perform object optimization to align the object with the contact points. The whole pipeline consists of two important modules. The first one is the contact label predictor contact former. Its input is a sequence of paired vertices and ground truth contact semantic labels. We first train a conditional VAE to learn a probabilistic model of contact semantic labels conditioned on vertex positions. This VAE predicts initial semantic labels for each frame separately. Then we deploy transformer layers that take the initial predicted labels as the input and output more temporally consistent contact labels. The second important module of SAMA is the sync synthesis module. In this module, we first accumulate the contact points predicted by contact former from each frame. Then we cluster the accumulated contact points into multiple contact instances we see using different thresholds epsilon for different object classes. Then we reduce the spatial prediction noise for each contact instance by majority voting. After that, for each contact instance, we sample an object of the inst instance's predicted class. And then we optimize the pose of the object by minimizing a loss function composed of the contact loss and the penetration loss. And here's a visualization of an example scene which our model generates for some motion sequence. Furthermore, by enabling sampling object categories in each contact point cluster, we find someone can generate scenes with intra-class and inter-class diversity. Finally, we show results of our scene completion module. To generate a complete scene, we train a simplified version of ATS. This module outputs the probability distribution for the next potential object class given the current room layout. We then optimize the pose of non-contact objects to avoid penetration. For more information, please read our paper. Thank you.